And Rwanda has been described as a beacon of hope for Africa for its ability to rise from the ashes. This was Nigeria's opinion at a 30th commemoration of Rwanda Liberation tagged uh, Kibohara. And it was where the representative of the Minister of Foreign Affairs urged the international community to ensure they contribute positively to the development of Africa. Moyo Thomas reports, and then we'll return with business updates. <laughs> The theme of this anniversary organized by the Rwandan High Commission in Abuja is Rwanda's Journey Continues. It is a new theme launched this year. The event had in attendance diplomats, members of the international community and friends of Rwanda. For Rwanda, the anniversary is a milestone of Rwanda's journey of resilience, unity and progress since the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi and its remarkable achievement in economic development, social progress and reconciliation. On this momentous occasion, we honor the resilience of Rwandan people and the sacrifices made for freedom. The bravery of the Rwandan Patriotic Army, who rescued countless lives, symbolizes our indomitable spirit. We express our deepest gratitude to those who liberated our nation and the heroes who gave their lives for a free Rwanda. In brotherhood and sisterhood, they stand. And that is what will work for Africa. This is our Africa. Nobody choose to come to Africa. Nobody choose to be born in Africa. But the only thing you have to do for Africa is to make it a little better than you met it. If you are not able to do that, then keep quiet. Kwibohora means liberation in Kinyawanda language. It's a pivotal moment that not only commemorates the end of the genocide, but also the liberation by the Rwandan Patriotic Front. Moyo Thomas, TVC News, Abuja.